Hi, in this video we're going to be working with color palettes and how to include them in your site specification document. One of the requirements of your site specification document is to create overall style. Within this overall style you should be creating a color scheme for your proposed upgrade of the website. If you have any questions about that you can see the navigation page structure and wireframes lesson, but I'm hoping this video will help you go ahead and establish the color scheme that you will be using for your pages. So let's take a look really quick at the navigation to show you the type of thing that you're looking to do. Okay, so here is a layout of a simple Dusty Rose site and what we have is examples of each of the colors. We have the RGB, the hex color, a description of them and where you plan on using them. This is a creative portion of it. I would tell you to go ahead and feel free to use colors that you might like. So one of my favorite places on the web is called colorlovers.com and it's the English spelling of color C-O-L-O-U-R-L-O-V-E-R-S.com and you do need to have an account in order to work with this. It's a free account, they don't charge you for it and they send very little spam. I maybe get one every month just to remind me that I do have an account there. So when you get to colorlovers.com and you've created an account and you are signed in, there are a couple of ways that you can go about creating or getting a color palette. One would be to go to browse and you can see they have palettes that you can look at or you can do, click on create and create a new palette. So first I'm going to look at browsing for a palette and you can see there are a whole bunch of new ones being made minute by minute and I would just scroll down and see if anything is there that you like. You can flip through two or three of them to see new ones that are coming up and boy I like the everything I can and you can hover over it and see larger or you can go ahead and keep scrolling. Oh there's another one that I like quite a bit that one's called Pacific so if it's something that you find that you like you can click on it it will take you to that actual palette and then as you scroll down on the side you will see to the right download options I always click on the HTML option and it asks you how to open it you can see my default browser is Firefox I'm going to open that up and here you have the exact example like what you saw on that navigation structure all of that so to start what I do is I use alt and print screen to grab a copy of it I go to paint and I paste it into paint oh it didn't copy for some reason so let me go back Alt print screen back to paint and paste it in it. Click on select up here that'll get rid of the whole screen being selected. I'll click on select again and I will go like so copy file new I don't want to save that existing one but I'm going to paste again and there is my color screen scheme so now I'm going to file save this and I'm going to go to documents and 208 graphics since this is for that course and I name it and there we go so now I'm going to go back to Word and I'm going to take this right in this template and go down a little bit insert picture I'm going to go to documents 208 graphics and there's the grab that we just did and click insert and now I have it inserted within my document 
So that's one way you can select from an existing palette. So now let's go the other way and I'm going to scroll all the way back up and I'm going to create that, grab that create button and click on palette and now you're going to create a new palette. So if you haven't guessed by now I'm kind of enamored with blues and so I'm going to put that first blue that I kind of like there. I'm going to click on the second area here. You notice the red moved across. And I'm going to go even a little bit grayer for this with just a touch of blue in it. There we go. And then I always have white as one of my colors. And actually you can see I can go F, 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 and it will be true white and then I'm going to do black as one of my colors. Zero, 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 zero. There's my black. And let's make a contrasting color here of... Let's see if I can find a green that I might like. That's a little bit too dark. There we go. Okay, so there's my color palette. I'm going to name it as web color palette example and I'm just going to call it web color palette since we want to do that. I'll go 4CIS208 students at Edmonds Community College Linwood Washington don't have a link, I don't have an image, down at the bottom I can go create palette. And there's a color that hasn't been named. So I'm going to call it EDCC Web Blue and name that color. Okay, so now it'll bring up the, the color palette in the same type of look that we had with an existing color palette. Again, scroll down click on HTML. I'm going to open it with Firefox and I do the same screen capture, paste it into Paint and grab the um, colors, look at the color and paste it into my document. I hope this helps you in creating a color palette. It's a creative portion. You can go as wild as you want. Not too wild. Remember that you are looking for something professional, but that type of um, process to create a color palette. Thank you. Keep watching for more videos.